Hi everyone, on this week's episode I'm going to try and make myself an 8 ball out of resin. So this 8 ball is a real 8 ball. I borrowed it off my mate so I could use it to get all the dimensions. Now this project should be fairly simple. The first thing I need to do is pour some black resin so I can turn the ball. Now once that's done, I'll pour myself some white resin and that'll create our insert. The resin I'm using for this one is a slow set casting resin. To get the black colour, I'm just going to add some black pigment paste. Now I'm going to go pop this in the pressure pot to cure. Now that our black resin is cured, I can glue it to the waste block. Now that my glue's all dry, we can start turning the front of the ball. To get a more accurate shape, I'm using my sphere jig. Now it's really important that you line up the centre, otherwise you won't get a perfect ball. So now that I have the front of the ball shaped, I can go ahead and drill my hole. Now before I take this off the lathe, I'm going to drill one more smaller hole all the way through. Now you'll see why I'm doing this towards the end of the video. It's now time to start on the number 8, and the first thing I'm going to do is pour myself a white blank. Now that the resin's cured, I can work on the black outline. Now to do that, I'm going to drill a couple of holes in the white resin.
Before I go mixing some black resin, I'm going to create a damn wall with some hot glue. Don't worry about the extra resin that I'm mixing up, because I've always got other projects on the go. Now I'm just going to go pop this in the pressure pot to cure. Now that the black resin's cured, the next thing I need to do is sand this front down and drill two more holes. Well, those holes are a lot harder to drill than I thought. Getting them centred was a difficult task. Well, it's now time to add the dam wall again and pour some white resin in the holes. I'm just going to give it a minute for these air bubbles to come out and then I'll pop it in the pressure pot. Now that the white resin's cured, I need to shape it down so it fits in the front of the ball. It's now time for me to find the center and then mark the circle. When I decided to make this project, there was one step that I was really worried about, and that was getting this 8 dead center in the ball. Now I know if I didn't, it was just going to bug me forever. Now my original plan was to mount this in the chuck and turn the circle, but as you can see here, it's not quite centered, so I'm going to have to figure out another way. So I've been having a think about it, and I reckon the best way to do this is to glue it down to the waste block, mount it in the chuck, and bring the live center down so it's right in the center. Then I'll leave it there until the glue dries. Now that the glue's all set, I can turn it down to a circle. Well that took a bit longer than I expected, but I needed to take my time and sneak up on it. That way we got a nice tight fit. That seems pretty tight to me. Now the next thing I need to do is glue this in.
Now we've just got to wait for the glue to dry and we can put it back on the lathe. So I've now got my finished ball and it's time to sand and polish. Now once I've done that, I'll explain what I'm doing with the backside. It's now time for me to explain why I drilled this small hole. It's so I knew where the center was, so I could drill a larger hole. And then once I've drilled that larger hole, I can put in this threaded insert. And once that insert's glued in, we'll have ourselves a shift knob. Well, considering I've got some dodgy eyes and some wonky drill bits, I reckon I did a pretty good job of getting that eight nice and centered. Now, if you think so too, let me know by smashing the like button. Also, I'm going to have this knob available in my store. I'll leave a link in the description. Now, let's check out my ball. <laughs> 